What's up everybody, it's David here from Tough Guys TV. And on this episode, you can probably see what it is we're gonna be talking about. It is this mask by Under Armour. It is their sports mask. Now I pre-ordered this thing like six or seven weeks ago. There's been a bunch of creators on YouTube that I assume got these things early and put them out for reviews for you guys to check out. The approach that I'm gonna take here is from this DIY construction type point of view. I work in the field a lot every day. It's my, my normal job. I am in construction here in Dallas, Texas. It is hot, it is dusty. It's muggy, it's horrible. Masks are really hard to wear. The reason why I invested in this mask was because everything I read said that it's great for being in the field, it's great for exercising, it's great for sweating, all things that you're gonna do if you're in construction here in Dallas. So this review is based on that. If you're in construction, you're a tradesman, you work in the field on construction projects, this might be the mask for you. We're gonna start with the unboxing. Let's get right into it. Links to social media below if you wanna check out what else we have going on here at Tough Guys TV. Thanks so much for coming by. Let's go. All right, everybody, here is the Under Armour Sports Mask. This is their newest endeavor here to solve our mask wearing problems, especially for exercising. When I saw this, I thought that it would be a perfect option for people that work in the field, work in the trades. Let's take a look. So this is the large, extra large size. I have no idea if this is actually gonna fit my face. It's just based off of some other masks that I own. You can see these are 30 bucks. I did pay for this. Under Armour did not send me this. And here they show their three layer system. It looks like they have an outer layer, a middle layer, and then the spot that is closest to your skin, they're calling it iso chill. So we'll see how that actually feels. I believe the ear loops are actually also supposed to be the iso chill, so you kind of feel a cool feeling when it's on your face. Of course, we'll have to try this out. Quick overview of those layers. And of course, a few places on here, it does mention this is non-medical, non-PPE. And again, here on the front, non-medical. All right, so there's the mask. Set this down for a sec. So the instructions here show how to wash your hands, how to put the mask inside of the bag, how to fold it up properly. Some stuff you already hopefully know how to do. Put a mask on and wash your hands. And for this little bag, you could actually put your name on there and everything, I guess, if you were in a sports setting or if you're in school or at the gym and you happen to leave this lane somewhere, I guess somebody would know whose it is. Now for the mask itself, initially the feel is kind of like a memory foam. And I believe I read on the back that it has kind of like a open cell foam that is at the core of it, which prevents the bacteria from growing and sweat to get in this thing. And it, and it doesn't get like any kind of smell or bacterial growth or anything like that. So kind of opening it up here for the first time of the inside. Again, it looks like you could write your name there. Again, it shows the size as well. The material feels super soft. Now this gigantic tag, it looks like it says you can tear this away. I will cut it because I don't want to risk tearing out any of those threads there. And for those interested, it looks like made in Vietnam and it gives you all of the, uh, everything that went into making it. And this material here is super stretchy over the ears, which I like, and it feels very soft. I've had a lot of masks where it kind of pulls your ear forward. And just as far as looking at it, it looks like it'll fit on my face pretty well, which we'll try it on here in a sec. Also feels like there is a piece of wire inside the nose in order for it to take shape, which is pretty cool as well. Get a nice seal. And since I mentioned the construction industry, let's compare it to something that is super popular in that space. All right, so this is an RZ mask and these are super popular. I've been using one in my shop forever. You can buy replacement filters for these things. These are active carbon filters. They claim on their site that these are just as good, if not better than an N95. You can look that up yourself. Don't take it from me. Anyways, this is the structure of those. They kind of loop around the back. You can see this is a size large. They have Velcro. So this part would go around your neck. And then inside, you've got this softer see-through material here, but the, the mask part is what actually goes over your nose and mouth. Now, these are also vented, so they're letting the air back out, which is why you've heard scientists say, like, you know, doctors, whatever, say, hey, don't use these because you're basically just venting stuff back out, whereas this is gonna help keep you from spreading it outward, so keep that in mind. But anyways, an RZ mask for me, you know, wearing these, they work great in the shop, but again, in a setting where I'm trying to not spread the particulates that I'm creating, I need something like this. And my hope is that this unit here from Under Armour is gonna work great in the field and in the heat, and it's gonna provide comfort because just to be honest here in Texas, I sweat through any other kind of cloth mask I'm wearing and almost instantly. All right, so I'm gonna try this thing on. I will note that I cut the tag off. I didn't wanna leave that on there. I figured it would be uncomfortable. All right, so 
I will talk to you guys through the mask. Hopefully you can still hear me okay. I initial thoughts are it's super comfortable. I don't feel like it's stopping my breath at all. It is probably 100 degrees in our shop. It is not insulated and it's like 104 degrees outside today here in Texas. Quick note on that, we're in the Dallas area. So anyways, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to just kind of walk around outside for a little bit, get in the sun, see how I feel in the heat. As my main concern with this is being able to walk at job sites, do inspections, walk with my crews, things like that. My regular day job is I am a project manager for a developer here in Dallas. And quick notes there on the fit, it goes pretty far up underneath my chin. Now this is one of the rare occasions where I do have my beard trimmed pretty short. Normally that's long, so I'm interested to see if this would actually just kind of let it come out of the bottom like other masks that I've had. I do like the feel around the ear. It actually feels really soft. It doesn't put any pressure right there as some other masks that I've had have done. And it seems to be hat friendly for the most part. So that's good. All right, so far so good. So let me go walk around outside and see how I feel. All right, so I did some chores around the yard for about 30 minutes. I'd say I'm a little bit more winded than I would normally be. Got some stuff cleaned up here. We're gonna be building a new shed soon over there. And we've got everything watering and we're getting ready because it probably won't focus, but there are storm clouds rolling in. So we're trying to get ready for that. Here outside, I haven't really felt that bad. Like I said, it's about 102 or something today. I'm gonna try it out in the shop a little bit and use it as if I would like a dust mask. I realize it's not a traditional dust mask and I don't know how well this material would fare as far as beating it up, you know, out in the shop, but that's what we're gonna try next. All right, now to be honest, I don't want to spend too much time in the shop. Now these are fogging up a little because I just walked outside. I didn't notice them fogging at all when I was actually working with them, so that was cool. I don't actually know if this is good for dust, like in the shop, which is why I stick to the RZ mask when I'm out there. So I don't want to spend too much time in there cutting wood and breathing in all the sawdust, but it didn't change anything as far as my ability to breathe or just moving around the shop and being hot. It, it still felt fine. So all in all, I've had this thing on for about an hour now just nonstop wearing it. I went in the house for a while, talked to the kids. It's just, I don't really notice that I have it on, to be honest. It's super comfy and I am not all gross and stuff underneath it. So taking it off definitely feels nice. My face isn't all gross feeling or whatever, like I said, from wearing a normal mask. So I definitely recommend this mask, this mask rather. So if you guys are in the market, uh, definitely check this thing out. If you work in the trades, I think it's a great choice. I've been outside, like I said, for about an hour in the shop. It's actually hotter than outside. A storm is coming, so I'm trying to wrap this up because I won't be able to record with the rain. Anyways, hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think. If you decide to get one of these, leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts on it. See you in the next project.